Okay, so here's a demonstration of the reminder spreadsheet made using Excel. As you can see, I've got Microsoft Excel open, and uh, typically uh, the first thing I do every day after opening the spreadsheet is to um, save it as a new version so that if anything happens to the spreadsheet throughout the day while I'm working on it, um, I've got a, a version as of yesterday um, backed up. Um, that does mean you get a collection of Excel files uh, saved in the folder, uh, one for each day that you're at work, but there's no harm in doing that and you can always delete the old ones um, if after a couple of weeks you decide you don't have any need for them again. The layout of the spreadsheet is basically that there's a list of reminders that'll be in this region down here. Um, right now there's nothing in there because I haven't put in the first reminder, but I'll uh, demonstrate um, how the spreadsheet works by just going ahead and putting in the first reminder. So this gray area over here is where reminders are created. The first thing you want to do is select a date that you want the reminder um, to come due. So um, you push the add date button over here. This pop-up box will come up and you can push, for example, five if you want the reminder that you're creating to come due in five days. Um, you'll see that it then puts the date in this box over here. Um, if, in fact, you don't want to specify a number of days into the future, but you want to s specify a particular date, this text over here indicates that you can push the Cancel button, and you can then pick a date like November 12th, uh, 2015, uh, Set Date, and then um, that date will appear in the box over here. You then type in the name of the file that the uh, reminder is going to be for. So I'm just going to make up a um, file name over here, and then you can say... Um, whatever your reminder is going to be, you can put it in over there. Uh, then you click the Add to List button and the reminder will be popped down um, into the list over here. Okay, so you'll notice that I've gone ahead and created a few um, extra reminders just to show how the spreadsheet works. And what you might see is that um, on the list of um, reminders to be done in the future or in the past, in the case of the red ones, um, there's an indication of um, how far into the future the item is due or whether in fact it's past due. These dates over here d determine the date of the reminder and therefore determine the color um, that is in the cell over here. Now, if you came back, for example, on September 5th, then this cell over here would be the color orange for today. That one would have been past due, so all these three would be red and that one would be yellow. So um, every time you open the spreadsheet, it recalculates uh, the color of these cells depending on whether these dates are now um, past or still in the future compared to the current date which is in the cell over here. So um, the other thing I can show is that if you want to create a new reminder for a file that you've already got listed on your file list over here, you might have seen that these file names get automatically um, entered onto this file list when you type them in the box over here. Then you can just uh, click the particular file you want to create the new reminder for and then when you push the add to list button it's going to use that file name because there's nothing entered in the box over here. So I'll go ahead and do that. That'll just add one more um, reminder to the list. That's what you see over here. So that's basically how the um, spreadsheet works. You create reminders in this gray area over here. If you don't specify any new file name over here, it's going to use the file name selected in the list below. And then um, this is your time status column, which indicates whether the item is due at some point in the future or whether it's past due. Obviously, if you start getting to the point that you've got a lot of red items, um, it means you either need to push those items forward into the future or you need to get busy completing them. Okay, the next thing I'll demonstrate is how to take an item which um, is perhaps uh, due today or past due and push it forward to the future. So say for example this one should have been done two weeks ago. If I decide that in fact um, it's not as urgent and it can be done next week, then what I do is click the move up down button over here and then when the pop-up comes up I just specify again the number of days from today that I want the reminder to come due. So if I say seven days, um, I just enter that and then you can see that it will drop it down um, the list because the items on the list are all according to um, most urgent or soonest to be completed to latest to be completed. I can also move something up the list. So say for example that one, if I decide I wanted it to be done, uh, say I want it to be red, so I remind myself that it's important, I can put in minus one and it'll move it to the top of the list. Um, similarly, I could do this one. I could say minus one. That should actually be done today. I'm not going to do it right now, but I want to make sure it's red so that I get reminders to do it. 
um, you can always just move the, move items up and down using the move up down button. Okay, so now that I've explained how to create new items and also to move items on the list up and down, I'll um, show you how to move an item to the completed um, items list. So basically, if this item over here has been completed, I simply push the move to completed button over here, um, and it'll disappear. But what it's actually done is it's moved it across onto this list over here, which is the list of reminders already completed. So all reminders that have been done historically are not just um, deleted forever with no trace of them, but in fact they are um, put on this completed items list, which is um, available on the right-hand side of the to-do list. Um, also, if I go a bit further right, you can see here's the list of active files. So if I wanted, I could um, add a new item over here. Um, just make up a hypothetical name over there. And then when I go back to the file list over here, you'll see that one's been added to the bottom. Um, it will be sorted into alphabetical order the next time we add a item. If you want to delete items from this list, say um, the file settled, or for some reason you just want to delete the reminder, you've got to be a bit careful not to delete the entire row, because if you do that, you might be accidentally deleting um, items in this uh, completed reminder list over here. So the best thing to do is simply to um, select the items you want to delete, hit the delete button, and then you can select the sort by date button. And that actually um, raises another point that I should explain. There's two ways to sort the information on the list of reminders. The one is sort by date, and the other is sort by file number. And this is quite useful because, for example, if you want to see all the reminders that have been set on the Wilkinson file, um, you can see it over here. Um, whereas if you want to see all the items according to what should be done today, you can click the sort by date button. So the sort by file essentially just allows you to group all reminders for a particular file together, which is often useful. Say if the Wilkinson file settles, I can just delete them all like that and then go back to sorting by date. That shows the basic operation of the spreadsheet. Um, I find it uh, very useful because um, it's extremely quick to create new reminder items, especially when the file's already on the file list. You simply uh, select the date that you want to put it in. Um, say in 15 days time, I want to remember to follow up on a phone call. Um, you just type your information in here, add to list, and that's how quick it is to create a reminder. Um, and also the sort by file button I find very uh, useful and uh, as well there is a sort by date and sort by file um, option on the completed items list as well.